Good morning, departure bin jet 379, Juliet Mike 1.5 for 3000 and the turn to 090. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 140. Right turn 1409 and Juliet Mike. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 180. Right turn 1809 and Juliet Mike. Let's take off runway 19, 379, Juliet Mike. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Vision jet 223 off the Tango runway. We are five holding right short runway, runway 5 runway right five here right in Knoxville. Two, two, three, tango. Getting ready to take off and head back to Smyrna, Tennessee. Appreciate you guys watching the channel today. And uh, today's flight, we will probably likely encounter some icing in, uh, in between, so we'll have to evaluate that situation. And uh, appreciate you guys coming along. Hope you enjoy the flight. And by the way, I'm trying a new uh, Bose uh, Aviation in-ear headset, Pro Flight Series 2. And... Uh, I'll let you know what I think. KBAR 07, left turn heading 020, contact departure. KBAR 07, left hand turn switch. Vision Jet 9 or Juliet Mike, fly runway heading, runway 5 right, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, uh, clear for takeoff, runway 5 right, 379, Juliet Mike. All right, here's five, right? Take off power is set. There's that runway center line. All right, 70 knots. Continuing. Cast messages are clear. 80. And rotate. Gears up. All right, there's a 128 flaps coming up. All right, going up to six. Bonanza 16 Romeo, cross runway five right at Yankee and taxi straight into TAC here at this frequency. Crossing five right at right, Yankee. Cups available uh, at MCT. Right here with you, 16 Romeo. Mont 6130, turn right, heading 070, runway 5 right. Clear for takeoff, traffic's the King Air on a four mile final. All right, clear for takeoff, uh, 5 right, and 07 year departure, Piedmont 6130. Vision Jet 9 or Juliet Mike, contact departure, have a good flight. Over departure, happy holidays, 9 Juliet Mike. Good afternoon, departure of Vision Jet 379 or Juliet Mike. 3.9 for 6,000 runway heading. 379 Juliet Mike, Knoxville departure, radar contact. Climb and maintain 1, 2,000, turn left heading 010. I've turned to 010 up to 1, 2,000. 9 Juliet Mike. Zero, 010 zero showing. All right, we're change, we're flying out on flight level change. Uh, it's up to one two thousand, and uh, pitched for one hundred and sixty knots of climb. For nine Juliet Mike, turn left, direct Bama. Direct Bama, nine Juliet Mike. All right, we're on a flight level change at 160 knots of uh, climb speed. That was giving us about 1,800 uh, feet a minute. We're now uh, making a left turn here to about a 260 heading. That'll get us to Bama. That's the first intersection on our filed flight plan. We're climbing through uh, 9,300 feet up to 1,2,000. 1, uh, 318 Foxtrot Delta, yes, sir. 
Ray, Fox, Fred, Delta, Squawk, be fire standard has called me about just since you just stayed on that other code. Squawk, be fire, terminate your service, frequency change approved. Hey, yeah, sorry about that, Squawk, be fire, and have a good one, 3 Fox, Fred, Delta. Yeah. So the passengers, uh, 3170 Romeo is 2300 feet out of downtown Island. 379, Juliet Mike, contact Atlanta on 133.6. 3369, Juliet Mike, Kevin Graham. Atlanta Center, Avenger 379, or Julia Mike, 11.8 for 1,000. Vision 379, Julia Mike, Atlanta Center, climb and 1,4,000, Knoxville, altimeter 2991. 9-1 to 1,4,000, 9, Julia Mike. All right, so we're going to climb to 1,4,000. 454, mend altitude, maintain 1,6, 16,000. I think I stepped on somebody. Jet card 454, mend altitude, maintain 1,6,000. All right, as uh, you guys might have noticed, I'm trying a new uh, camera angle here based upon some advice and suggestions from some viewers. Nine, Julia, Mike, do the traffic ahead, 1-4,000 has to be the final. Copy that, 1-4,000 to be our final, 9, Julia, Mike. Five, Today's a good opportunity to use it. I am the only one on the plane, so Korean Air there's no zero, issues four, with uh, being able to uh, evacuate the aircraft in a hurry because it's just me today. So we can run the uh, audio cable and power cable and without anybody tripping over it, so we're in good shape here. I hope you enjoy the camera angle. Um, we'll have to see how it turns out. But uh, I do appreciate you guys coming along to today's flight. I am, again, evaluating a uh, Bose uh, Pro Flight Series 2 aviation headset. Uh, it was one that I purchased uh, in order to evaluate. So, so far, so good. Uh, seems pretty comfortable, very lightweight, and uh, fairly well built. We'll uh, check out the audio characteristics pretty soon. The audio, in terms of Bluetooth audio, uh, when I paired it with the iPad, uh, is very good. It uh, reminds me of the Bose consumer product line. Products uh, and the good... Uh, fidelity and frequency response, so uh, so far so good on this Bose ProFlight 2 uh, Series 2 headset, and uh, the earpieces are, are comfortable, and the boom mic is uh, lightweight, but it stays in place, so uh, I, do, I do like uh, the evaluation so far, so Korean Air we'll let you know. Moderate precipitation along your route of flight for the next uh, seven zero miles. Alpha Tango, Alpha Tango, Juliet Mike. How you copy? I got you loud and clear, honey. Loud and clear. Yeah, we're all right. They uh, stopped my climb at one four thousand, so uh, I'm not. I'm between layers. No uh, icing issues so far. Yeah, that's what I looked at coming up too. I started at four fifty four. Climbing at sixteen and uh, no problem. Yeah. Roger that. Well, uh, it's great spending the day with you today, and uh, if you need anything from okay, me, let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks for all your help again. No problem. Have a safe flight. You better. That's my buddy Randy Harmon. He's flying another Vision jet back from uh, Knoxville today. He was fortunate enough to pick up a brand new G2 Plus uh, Vision jet from Cirrus Aircraft uh, for an owner that happens to be uh, unavailable today to do it. So it's a great opportunity to, find, to fly a brand new airplane. And uh, I um, feel like it was a great day for me to bring him out to Knoxville. So uh, we are now returning from Knoxville. And uh, he is uh, taking the plane to its new hangar. And I'm heading back to my base. So uh, in any case, appreciate you guys coming along on today's flights. And uh, well, today's flight anyway. Korean Air and, uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified of new content when we post it. So uh, we are at uh, 1, 4, 000, or 14,000 feet. Uh, we got an inbeat of uh, 236 knots. That's giving us a true airspeed of 293 knots. Any ground speed as a result of the 20 headwind.
29 headwind giving us uh, 273 knot ground speed. So I'm going to pull the power back. We're currently at about 50% thrust and uh, burning about 88 gallons an hour. So I'm going to bring that back a little bit, probably closer to 70 gallons, which is our normal cruise fuel flow uh, profile. Again, thank you so much for coming along today and uh, look forward to meeting you someday at some airport somewhere. Smyrna Airport. Zulu. Wind 310 at 0, 04. Visibility 1 0. Sky condition few. Niner. 1000. Overcast. 1 1000. Temperature 0 8 Celsius. Dew point 0 4 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner. Niner 6. I'm going to turn on the engine ice protection system, which is a combination of electronic, electronically heated uh, sensors as well as some bleed air that bleed, uh, blows into the engine inlet and essentially uh, keeps ice from forming. The sensors okay, inside the injured, engine inlet are important because they uh, provide air data to the FADIC system okay, in the aircraft, which regulates the engine. One, one thousand. Performance. 11, so. November 379, Juliet Mike, contact Memphis Center, 128.15. 2815, Niner, Juliet Mike, season's greetings. Good day. And you want to use the ice protection system anytime there's uh, icing conditions when conditions are below uh, 5 degrees Celsius and uh, there is visible moisture. So. Memphis Center, good afternoon, 4040, thank go, check it out. We're right here on top of this direct layer, so well, it shouldn't be too much of a factor. Number 404 is here at Tango, Memphis Center, Roger. And Nashville altimeter, 29 Niner 6. 6 Sierra Tango. Good afternoon, Memphis Center, Vision Jet 379 or Juliet Mike, 14000. Vision Jet 379 or Juliet Mike, Memphis Center, Roger. Uh, so this morning, the flight from Smyrna, Tennessee into Knoxville, Center Tennessee, we didn't record it, Romeo, uh, six, but uh, we picked up some pretty significant icing uh, where we had the entire windshield uh, iced over and uh, some icing on the leading edges of the wings. But uh, the plane had no problem taking care of that, and uh, we're thankful for that. All right, uh, we've got the ILS for runway 32 in Smyrna. Deliver 501 Mike Fox Loaded. at Lewisburg Airport, 12 o'clock, 25 miles, Ports Field in sight for the visual. Delta 2800, contact Atlanta Center, 132. Conditions are probably going to allow it to be flown as a visual approach, but we always back up approaches with uh, a, uh, an approach of some type, either a RNAV, ILS, or a visual approach. All of which are available to available to the aviation system. Number four zero six Alpha, Memphis Center, Roger. Bowling Green altimeter two nine or nine or four. Verify you have the weather note on the Bowling Green Airport. Say approach type request. Number four two five Delta Lima, contact Memphis Center one two five point eight five. One two five point eight five four two five Delta Lima. So now that I reduced power down to about thirty nine percent, give us a seventy gallon an hour fuel burn. Brought our uh, indicated airspeed Louis, seven, four, seven, four, down five, to 209 Roger, knots, Hunter, true airspeed at 259, and our ground speed, of course, as a result of a 15 knot headwind, That's up is showing 244 knots. Out. November 414, Romeo Tango, G-Check. We're uh, right on top of a layer here, so expect the possibility of some icing conditions is negative uh, 7 degrees Celsius, and we are starting to pick up some ice. Center Delta 1226, 240. Southwest 5104, climb and maintain, flight level 290, contact Atlanta Center 133.17. Flight level 290, good day, Southwest 5104. Good day, Delta 1226, Memphis Center, Roger, descend via the slip to arrival, landing north, Nashville altimeter 2996. 2996, descend via the Swift Delta 1226. Up to 1226, it's going to maintain so just got a little bit of 
I mean, to me, it looks like mixed icing can't necessarily rhyme, but. I'll have to send you. Uh, yeah, just lights right, or trace on the leading uh, edges. Level oh, we'll turn on the boots and see if we can get rid of some of that. Memphis Center Vision 379 or Juliet Mike. Hi, Rob. Vision Jet 379, Juliet Mike. Go ahead. Yes, sir. It's uh, negative 7 degrees Celsius, and uh, we're getting uh, light to moderate uh, rhyme icing at this uh, altitude. We're all right. Uh, don't need to climb or descend, just advising. And remember, 379, Julia, Mike, Roger. Just going to maintain 111,000. 111,000, Julia, Mike. Blue Streak 5532, contact Indy Center, 134.67. November 3, Alpha Tango, traffic, 10 o'clock, 7 miles northwest, bound an Airbus, depending out right, 200 so for 17,000. And three Alpha Tango, be searching. Delta 1226, traffic, 2 o'clock, 6 miles southwest, bound a vision jet level at 16,000. You can expect lower after clearance. Delta 1226, Roger. November 902 Delta Romeo, contact Nashville Approach, 119.35. 1935, Delta Romeo, I'm going. Memphis 3 Alpha Tango, we have the Airbus in sight, come back. Memphis Center, Station Air, Charlie Fox, Bravo Sierra Zulu, with you. Good. Charlie Fox, Bravo, Sierra Zulu, Memphis Center, Roger. Nashville altimeter 2996, nine six, maintain VFR. 2996, maintain VFR uh, from Sierra Zulu. Memphis, good afternoon. November 32, Alpha Juliet, 5000, with the wind band, no time. November 32, Alpha Juliet, Memphis Center, Roger. Say approach type request at Lewisburg. Black and Strategy, GPS approach runway 02, switch Alpha Juliet. Roger. All right, to at uh, 11,000, temperatures are minus 4 degrees. Most of the ice that was uh, accumulated on the windshield is starting to sublimate. And the same on the leading edge of the wing, so we're in pretty good shape, even though temperatures are freezing. Alpha Tango, clear direct to Maury County. Maury County, clear Alpha Tango. All right, so I'll brief the uh, ILS for runway 32. Have the frequencies all set up. Check guard 470, clear direct Henderson. In the case of missed approach, we're going to climb to 1500, then a climbing Check right turn clear direct Henderson. to 3000 on a heading of uh, 090 to the BNA BN uh, 1270 radio. Kuyag intersection 18.5 DME BNE. And our BNA November, and hold. November 379, Juliet Mike, contact Nashville approach 118.4. 18.49, Julia Mike, season's greetings. I got you. Tower's 18.5. November 6, 8 kilo, in our right base, runway 32. Keep your base spread to final for traffic inbound uh, north of you. And contact Smyrna Tower, 118.5. We'll square off our base here, and we'll contact East Smyrna Tower at 118.5. Thank you, sir. Nashville Approach Vision Jet 379, Julia Mike, 111,000. We have information for Smyrna. Expect any visual 32. Number 379, Juliet Mike, National Approach. Roger, expect that. National altimeter 29904. 949, Juliet Mike. K bar 07, descend and maintain 4000. K bar 07, leaving 6 for 4. Making our turn to the next fix, which is Swift. Departure Captain, Southwest 1919, out of 2000 for 4. Southwest 1919, National Departure Radar Contact, maintain 15000. I'm 15000, Southwest 1919. Wings 1376, contact Memphis Center 128.15. 12815, Wings 1376. November 9, Juliet Mike, the Senate discussion, maintain 7000. PT down to 7000, 9, Juliet Mike. Southwest 1919, turn right direct Roy. I turn direct Roy, Southwest 1919. Looks good, let's head down. All right, we're descending. Uh, I've got 30% uh, power. That's giving us about a 57 gallon an hour fuel burn. We're descending out of 10,300 feet down to 7,000. Uh, 
We've already checked in with NASA Hill Approach. We're uh, indicating uh, 216 knots, 3980 or 253 knots across uh, a true airspeed. We've got the uh, descent at 1,500 feet a minute, which is fairly normal. So hopefully they'll uh, give us a vector shortly and uh, we'll land in Smyrna, runway 32. All right, 7.9 for 7,000. Cameron nine Juliet Mike, maintain 4,000. We'll maintain 4,000. Nine Juliet Mike. K bar 7, maintain 3,000. Moving 4 for 3, K bar 0, 7. Cameron nine Juliet Mike, continue down, maintain 3,000. On down to 3,000, nine Juliet Mike. Piper or Mooney, Mooney 745, maintain 4,000. Mooney 745 out of 6,000 for 4,000. Twelve twenty six. If you can see it, airport will be twelve o'clock, about eight miles. Inside twelve twenty six. No, twelve twenty six. Clear. Visual approach to right. Tower one eight point six. Eighteen six or eighteen six. Got it. Thank you. See ya. K bar seven. Turn right. Heading three five zero. Join the localizer. Keep your speed up for me, best you can. Alrighty. So it's now uh, three degrees Celsius. Calculated out to be thirty seven degrees Fahrenheit. So we're above freezing. Number nine, Juliet Mike, maintain 2,000. We'll maintain 2,009, Juliet Mike, airport site. Number nine, Juliet Mike, clear, visual first, 3, 2, Smyrna, tower, 118.5, 18 plus. All right, down to 2,000, over to tower, and uh, happy holidays, nine, Juliet Mike. Vertical track. All right, down to two. We're in a tower vision, 379, Juliet Mike, outside at Oxca for the visual, 32. Vision 379, Juliet Mike, Smart Tower, runway 32, clear to land, wind calm. 32, clear to land, uh, 9, Juliet Mike, we're going to Hollingshead. Vision 9, Juliet Mike, roger. 500. All right, three grain pressurizations, good. Fully configured. Clear to land. 37475, Smart Tower, in the left base, runway 32, clear to land, wind 3103. Okay, uh, left base for 32. Yeah, approach never did really say uh, which runway. Vision Niner, Juet, my turn left on Alpha, cross from my one, Juet to the ramp, Marder ground point four today. All right, left on Alpha, we'll cross the runway one, Alpha Juliet to the ramp, and uh, you have a great day, season's greetings. Hey there, buddy, thank you so much for watching the channel, and thanks for hanging in there all the way to the end of this video. I have some extra comments, some post-production comments that I wanted to offer uh, in regards to the Bose ProFlight Series 2 aviation headset. It's pretty cool, it's, you know, it's a neat headset. Uh, I know a lot of turbine pilots that are using these. Um, not necessarily recommended for uh, piston aircraft uh, according to Bose, but um, anyway, it's a pretty neat headset overall. Uh, very comfortable. I am still trying to figure out how to uh, get these earpieces inserted uh, efficiently uh, prior to flight, but uh, nonetheless, once I get used to that, I am sure I'll enjoy this headset thoroughly. One thing I also want to mention is that uh, the headset does have talk-through capability, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you tap on the outside of this uh, earpiece like this, in either side actually, the left or right ear, uh, it will provide you with ambient sound. In other words, it will um, open up the outside microphones uh, for the headset and it'll pick up ambient sound. So if somebody's talking to you, uh, not over the intercom, just you know, openly talking to you, you can tap this earpiece twice. It'll open up the microphone to allow you to hear uh, externally. They call it talk-through technology. Um, it's also uh, known as ambient sound. So 
it allows the ambient sound to be picked up and uh, that's pretty cool I do like that uh, one thing that I don't necessarily like about this controller there are actually a couple things uh, first of which uh, the cabling is is really lightweight it doesn't feel cheap or um, fragile or anything like that but the uh, control box uh, for its size is really heavy you know I mean it's it's got two uh, AA batteries inside of it and, but it's still fairly heavy um, and uh, more importantly the other feature I don't like about this is there's no independent volume control on the controller uh, you can adjust Bluetooth audio volume uh, so if you're paired with a device such as an iPad or an um, iPhone or whatever the case may be uh, you can control the Bluetooth audio aspect however you cannot control the overall audio level uh, in the headset like you can with say the Bose A20 uh, headsets or the, even the Bose X uh, the disadvantage to that is if you're in an aircraft where you're using a Pro Flight 2 headset or a Pro Flight Series 2 headset but others are using a different kind of headset that may have a different audio sensitivity level um, so you can set a volume in the intercom and on the, and in, in the audio panel overall for all of the headset stations but that audio level might not be loud enough or it might be too loud uh, with the Pro Flight Series 2 headset compared to the other ones um, in any case other than that it's a very comfortable headset I would definitely recommend it I hope this evaluation was somewhat helpful to you. If you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, season's greetings to you and yours, and have a safe and prosperous new year. I really appreciate you watching the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Also, click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new videos are posted. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to send your emails, comments, and feedback. My goal is to provide even better content for you as we continue to grow the channel. Until next time, safe flying, and we'll see you on the next flight.